it's Jen Bengal here from Atlas World Literacy. If you haven't heard, we're in the middle of a mini series that offers 10 helpful pieces of advice for new teachers in each episode. The mini series began in episode 111 if you'd like to go back and listen to any of the other episodes. All this incredible advice came straight from teachers just like you. I asked teachers in my curriculum group on Facebook to finish this statement. The one piece of advice I would offer a newish teacher is blank because blank. I got so many amazing responses that I wanted to share them all with you, and I'm sharing 10 a day. So let's get started with today's top 10. Christine shares, breathe and stay focused even when you feel overwhelmed. It really does get easier every year. Great advice, Christine. Brenda says, don't buy everything because you won't need everything you think that you need. So resist that temptation to go buying all the things for your classroom. Debbie says, my best advice would be to set reasonable goals to accomplish. The to-do list is never ending, so prioritize what you have on your list. Malia says, my best advice is to set a time to leave each night and don't take things home every night because you need time for yourself. I love the idea of setting a time. Establish that time with yourself. Like I am going to leave this building every day at four o'clock or 4.30 and I'm not gonna bring anything home with me. I love that because it'll always be there the next day. Vanessa says, make friends with the secretaries and the janitors because they can help you just as much as a teacher mentor. And I actually would argue they might even be able to help you slightly more. I mean, my secretaries and and janitors in my buildings, the custodians, like I made friends with them right away and it became key in everyday, day-to-day life, things that I needed. They were willing to help me more because I was nice to them and I valued them. Karen says, my best advice for a new teacher is don't try to do it all. Bring in things you do well and add a little bit each year and take time for yourself. Teaching can be all consuming. And Teresa says, my best advice for a new teacher is to not be afraid to look silly or stupid and ask questions because we've all been there before and we want to succeed. We want you to succeed. Jennifer says, my best advice for new teachers is to live life simply because your worth will be paid in ways that are not monetary. And Kelly says, my best advice for a new teacher is to lay out what you need for the following day because it helps the mornings to start off well. Love that. Cece says, my best advice for a newest teacher is to connect with a positive group of teachers at school and ask them for help, advice, and their experience because these teachers will be just as excited as you are to make a difference and you will be inspired and inspiring to them. I hope you enjoyed these tips for new teachers today. Even if you are a veteran teacher, there may be a few pointers that will offer simple mindset changes and reminders for you going into the new school year. It's been my pleasure chatting with you today. Know that I'm the biggest fan of the work that you and your students are doing in the classroom. If you'd like more teaching tips, you can check out outofthisworldliteracy.com. If you'd like to attend a free live webinar training on literacy instruction and receive a certificate of participation, you can visit jenbengalwebinars.com. Until next time, you've got this.